There's something about Little Miss Sunshine that makes it really likeable, but I am struggling to pinpoint what that is, because the narrative for me is not that thrilling, I'm not that bothered about the family, and I'm not exactly a fan of road trip films. I think the thing that drives it is the character of Olive, played by Abigail Breslin. I think that it is, but if you like this film, and you can pinpoint why you like it, I'd love to know. This was released in 2006, directed by Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Farris, and written by Michael Arndt. And it's had two Oscar wins, an additional 70 wins, and a further 112 nominations. And as I said, it stars Abigail Breslin as Olive. And Olive is in the finals of a beauty pageant, but it's a cross-country. So they have to take a cross-country trip in a VW. And obviously when you're putting your family together in that kind of situation, is going to be chaos. And there is something in this that I love. Towards the end, Olive displays a certain kind of personality that's not necessarily the same as some of the other contestants. And that, I think, is why I liked this, because it was refreshing and a really interesting take. And I'm not going to tell you the outcome of that. I'm not going to say what happened. But because Olive is quite different to what one would expect for this kind of pageant... It's very refreshing and very, very likeable. As I said, the rest of the family I'm not that bothered about. I like Grandpa, played by Alan Arkin, and Tony Collette gives a good performance as Cheryl. Steve Carell's there as Frank. It is a good cast. The characters are well acted. It's not so much that the characters are not well developed, because they are, but I just personally didn't really feel too much for them. I... I kind of feel like the family didn't work well together as a unit certain times. And I don't mean that they were a dysfunctional family. I just mean certain times I feel like the characters could have been slightly different to work better. But at the end of the day, all that matters is that Olive was very likeable, very talented. Breslin gave a fantastic performance. That's, you know, that's no secret. And the awards that it won, well, it won Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role for Alan Arkin. And it won the Oscar for Best Writing Original Screenplay. And it is, it's got some really good, clever dialogue in it that I really liked. It also won the BAFTA for Best Screenplay and the Best Actor um, in a Supporting Role BAFTA for, again, Alan Arkin. It's got many, many other awards. Screen Actors Guild, the AARP, uh, AFI, Alliance of Women Film Journalists. This is just alphabetical, so I'm not going to go down them all. But there are so, so many of them. So why do I like this? I think it's because of Breslin. Obviously, this film did monumental things for her career. And the film got a lot of attention at um, at Sundance. And it's done remarkable work since then. It's got 7.8 out of 10 on IMDb, which is pretty astounding. To be honest, I don't think it's that good. I'd say it's maybe a 6.5 for me. But I did thoroughly enjoy it. I liked watching it. Olive is a great character. It's a film I would definitely recommend if you haven't yet seen it. And it's not a film I'd watch twice, I don't think. But I can see the benefits. I can see why it's got appeal to a lot of different people. Apparently it's a 15. I'm not sure why. But I liked it. Not a bad way to spend an afternoon. A great start for Abigail Breslin.